The three bad blue bloods. Okay. The three worst blue bloods. Anyway. Let's go over them. At the beginning of this season, I would have said all these teams have a chance to become a playoff contender. Hmm, so would most of you. Not so much now. Hello and welcome to the NIL Commiss YouTube channel. Pull up a seat. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit that little button right there. Let's just dive right into my first notable mention. They're not in my top three. I'm going to give them a pass for this year. That's Michigan. But what do you expect? What did you expect, Michigan fans? Jim Harbaugh leaves, cheating scandals, you name it. You've been in the newspaper a lot lately. So it's going to be tough on your team. I get that. With NIL, Transfer Portal, giving you the pass. So moving on, let's go straight in to number three, Alabama. They're number three because there's two other blue bloods that I think are way worse than them. So let's dive right in. So what's going on out there in Tuscaloosa? I hear lots of chatter about the coaching, but I hear a lot more chatter about Jalen Milrow and how he's all about his image and social media and stuff like that. So maybe he's not paying attention in practice as much. Then that falls on the head coach, DeBoer, where it's like, what is he seeing in practice? So this is the number three on the list. I still think they're pretty dang good. They just need to figure something out. Like maybe Jalen Milrow isn't the answer. I hate saying that because I thought he was going to be pretty good. He can throw the deep ball. He's very athletic. Um, hard to tackle. You know, all the stuff you would want. I don't think he has the intangibles, the it factor to be a quarterback. That's a whole nother story. I want to know what the Alabama fans think. They're only number three on my list because of how high the expectations are. In Tuscaloosa, you know, you've had the best dynasty of all time with the Saban years. So now what? Moving on to number two, my team. Okay, where to begin with my team? Well, that's easy. The offense. So Brent Venables just fired Seth Luttrell. That's the right move, in my opinion. I mean, it's better to do it now than wait. I mean, you're just going to see the same thing throughout the rest of the season. That's the you know definition of crazy. So good move on his part because his seat was warming up. I think he you know cooled it down a little bit by making a move, which is smart. Um, you know, some we used to scream about Alex Grinch, get a different defensive coordinator. Kind of like that. He made the right move. He made the wrong move in hiring him. So next year, let's talk about Brent Venables more. But as far as how their expectations were, 10 wins last year, they could have had Less than that. Some of the games they won last year were very, very close. They're second on my list because their expectations were pretty high. And for a blue blood, they are not cutting it. Changes definitely needed to be made. And they were. So now we just have to sit back and watch what happens. We have no idea what's going to happen. I don't think the offense is just going to come out and kill it. It's going to be tough sooner, fans. Let's move on to the number one spot. Dun, 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 dun. And the number one spot goes to the USC Trojans. I mean, isn't that what you guys thought? You knew I was going to pick that, right? Come on. I'm not a hater. I mean, but look what they're doing. Oh, my gosh. Still not playing defense. It comes to my point that we had a realization of here in Oklahoma. When he left, we were angry and bitter and all that. You get that. And then we came to the realization, after about a year, most of us, some of us picked up a lot earlier, that he was a snake. USC takes the number one spot, but at least they get to play Rutgers this week. That should be an easy win, right, guys? All right. Everybody out there in California, just sit back and wait. That's what we're doing here in Oklahoma. We're not in that much of a different spot, but it's a little different. A lot different. I'll take all that back. We actually love our coach. We've always loved our coaches. Bob Stoops is the best. Okay, sorry, I'm getting on a rant. So that's what I think. I'm sure a lot of people agree with me, maybe not in that order. Let me know what you think. If you want to see another video where I talk about Lincoln Riley and USC, click on... Oh, God. That one. Later. <laughs>